Hello everyone, so today I will share Korean food recipe that you can try at your home. Check this out. Korean Temple Food and Ho Bag Mandu Korean Temple Cuisine refers to a type of cuisine that originated in Buddhist temples of Korea. Since Buddhism was introduced into Korea, Buddhist traditions have strongly influenced Korean cuisine as well. During the Silla period, 57 BC to 935 AD, Chalbap, Yakgwa, and Yumirgwa were served for Buddhist altars. During the Goya dynasty, Sangchu Sam, Yaksi, and Yakgwa were developed, so spread to China and other countries. Since the Joseon dynasty, Buddhist cuisine has been established in Korea according to regions and temples. On the other hand, royal court cuisine is closely related to Korean temple cuisine. In the past, when the royal court maids called Sangung, who were assigned to the royal kitchen, where they prepared the king's meals, Therefore, many of them entered Buddhist temples. As the result, techniques and recipes of the royal cuisine were integrated into Buddhist cuisine. Here are 5 basic things you should know. 1. Korean temple cooking is primarily based on seasonal plant-based ingredients. which are either organically grown in temple grounds or harvested from nearby fields and mountains. 2. There are 5 forbidden vegetables, called Oshin Chai. They are garlic, scallion, onion, buchu, garlic chives, and dalry, small wild onion. These vegetables are considered stimulants which hinder spiritual meditation. 3. Temple dishes are lightly seasoned only with natural seasonings, so they generally have a mild and clean taste. Temple cooking uses a wide variety of natural flavor enhancers such as mushroom powder, lotus root powder, perilla seeds, etc. 4. Temple cooks are experts on identifying edible wild plants, creating many different dishes with limited ingredients. 5. In Buddhist temples, cooking and eating is considered spiritual meditation. The food is made with care to nourish the body, mind, and soul of those who eat it. Food is considered medicine. Mandu Mandu are dumplings in Korean cuisine. Mandu can be steamed, boiled, pan-fried, or deep-fried. Mandu were part of Korean royal court cuisine, but now found in supermarkets, restaurants, and snack places throughout Korea. Mandu are believed to have been first brought to Korea by Yuan Mongolians in the 14th century during the reign of the Goya dynasty. The state religion of Goya was Buddhism, which discouraged consumption of meat. The Mongolian incursion into Goya the religious prohibition against consuming meat, and Mandu was among the newly imported dishes that included meat. 
Another possibility is Mandu came to Korea at a much earlier period from the Middle East through the Silk Road. Historians point out many cuisines based on wheat, such as dumplings which originated from Mesopotamia and gradually spread from there. It also spread east along the Silk Road, leaving many versions of Mandu throughout Central and East Asia. But, today we are gonna make vegan version of Mandu. Hoback Mandu, Zucchini Dumplings This dumpling recipe made with summer zucchini was recently featured on BTN as a favorite summer dish at Bongneongsa, the oldest temple in Suwon, Gyeonggi-do. I was totally intrigued by the simplicity of this recipe, which was made with only two filling ingredients, one of which is actually optional. Ingredients Twenty four dumpling wrappers, two zucchinis, one teaspoon salt, four dried shiitake mushroom soaked, or use fresh, half tablespoon soup soy sauce or 1 quarter teaspoon salt sesame oil instructions 1 cut the zucchinis into thin discs and then into matchsticks if the discs are big cut in half before cutting into matchsticks Lightly sprinkle with salt, about 1 teaspoon, and let sit for about 15 minutes until wilted and some liquid is released. 2. Cut the mushrooms into thin strips. If the mushrooms are thick, slice them diagonally once or twice as if you are butterflying the mushrooms, and then cut into thin strips. Mix with a soup soy sauce, or salt, and a little bit, about half teaspoon, of sesame oil. 3. Heat a pan over high heat, and add 2 teaspoons of sesame oil and the zucchini. Stir fry until the zucchini is cooked and dry. Transfer to a large plate and spread it around to cool. 4. Heat a pan over medium-high heat, and stir-fry the mushrooms for 2 minutes. Add a tablespoon or 2 of water or mushroom-soaked water if the pan gets too dry. 5. Combine the zucchini and mushrooms. Adjust the seasoning to taste if needed. 6. Place one heaping teaspoonful of the filling on a wrapper placed on your palm. Wet the edges of the wrapper with water, fold the wrapper and seal tightly into a half moon shape. You can pinch one side of the wrapper to form pleats. Repeat this process until all the filling slash wrappers are used. 7. Bring a pot of water to a boil. Add the dumplings a few at a time, stirring gently so they don't stick to the bottom of the pot. Cook until the dumplings come up to the surface. Prepare a bowl with cold water. Quickly remove the dumplings, and plunge in the cold water. 8. Remove and serve cold with a dipping sauce. 2 teaspoon soy sauce, 1 teaspoon vinegar, 
and 2 teaspoons water, if desired. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe this channel. See you later.